Hi, and welcome back to Three and Out with Chris Spielman. I'm Mike O'Hara, and as always, brought to you by the good people of Comerica. Chris Spielman, Three and Out is different this week. We don't have any three, and we don't have any out. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, yeah, I think. What have you done to us? I don't know. I think it's a kind of a, a new thing. Definitely uh, something that I wasn't looking for, or didn't expect to happen, but it happened. And now that we're in, we're all in. And so um, I'm looking forward to being in Detroit and getting started and doing the best I can to, to help Sheila and help the team any way possible. So that's, that's the goal. And that's what I was hired to do. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to guarantee right? success, but I'm going to guarantee the best opportunity at success. We'll wrap it up real quick for the people who might not realize what's going on. But one week ago today, we were doing a three and out on the Lions loss to the Green Bay Packers. And a couple of days later, the news comes out that the Detroit Lions have hired on a full time basis, Detroit Lions, former linebacker and you know franchise legend, Chris Spielman, to be an assistant to team president Rod Wood and and the primary owner, Sheila Ford Hamp. But Chris we're not quite sure what all this means, but the one thing that resonated with me right from the beginning is that this is not a part-time job. You're not going to phone it in. You are moving to Detroit to do this job. Could you explain why that is important to you? Well, I think it's who I am. I'm not saying my way is the right way, but it's my way. And, and I was talking to my wife last night actually about this and, you know, she's never been out of Ohio, so she's excited to move, but I would only do it if I had the support of my family, my kids, my wife, everybody, but, they were not surprised when I said, okay, here we come back to Detroit or back to uh, Michigan. And it's just how I have to do it. I don't know any other way. I, I, I couldn't imagine myself uh, on Wednesday and, and when practice is going on and I'm in Columbus pacing around my room or watching Netflix. I can't do that. What I have to do is be involved. And look, my role once the coach and GM are hired is to be a servant to those guys and make sure that I can do anything possible to help those guys have great success. That's what my role is going to be. And I can, I'm looking forward to it. I mean, that's how I can best serve the Lions, in my opinion. Well, a couple of things about that. Now, when Sheila Hamp really pitched this job to you, she referred, she talked about the culture and unity. Those were, as you said, really strong selling points with you. How do you define culture? How do you define unity? And how important is that? as you move into a front office position with the Detroit Lions? So the culture thing is easy. As long as your building is full of uh, encouragement, respect, and accountability. And, and, you know, obviously there's going to be times when there's little tips here and there, but it's got to be done in a respectful way. Everybody uh, deserves to be encouraged. And what I mean by encouragement is this. Say, just say a, a, a receiver drops a pass or he's, or a corner gets beaten coverage. And this is just an example. I don't know what it is, just an example. And he's down and you say, look, you know, you got to get better. I know you got to be get better. I know you will get better. And here's why. Then you try to show him where he's been successful, reinforce what he's been taught and what he does well and encourage him to do so. Everybody knows the stakes. This is a performance-based business. If you don't perform, you're, you're going to eventually get beat out. That's just the way it is. And, and, and that's the kind of way that I think players respond to coaching and, and, and people respond to. I don't need to sit there and berate a guy or sit there and be disrespectful to anybody. Mike, you know me. When, when I come into a room or meet you guys, I, I try to feel like, you know, you guys are the most important people in the world. And I – I do treat people with respect because that's how I want to be retreat, uh, treated. So respect, encouragement, accountability. Yeah, but you're, when you're starting over with a coach and a general manager, though, those aren't people who are on your roster right now. So how, what, what sort of qualities do you look for in them? In other words, somebody you want to fit into your organization and do the coach and the general manager necessarily have to be hand in hand? They got to be smart first and foremost. I don't think they necessarily have to be hand in hand. If they are, uh, that's great. If they're not, um, it's going to kind of be like match.com man. They, they're a perfect match for each other. So uh, that's actually a good idea. I think I might start that. Uh, well, you, <laughs> you work on that, Mike, while we're, while we're doing this thing, but um, how, do you, how do you spell match? <laughs> but I, 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 I just think for the qualities that you got to be, both guys got to be really smart and they got to be leaders and they've got to be able to implement and be the same guy and stick with the same philosophy uh, of what Sheila has set forth 
uh, through a six game parade or three game clown show. You got to stay the same because we the, it's the NFL. I, I believe the GM has got to be able to take the hits. He's got to be able to take the hits for his coach. He's got to be able to take the hits for the ownership. He better be a strong son of the gun or, you know, he can't be paranoid and looking over his shoulder and all that stuff. You just got to be strong mentally and have, he needs and everybody needs clear direction on the identity of where we're going, what type of player we want. And we need to be able to develop those people within the building because if somebody leaves, we're not missing a beat. We're going to talk, you talked about talent and all that. We'll just talk about the team just a little bit. You watch yesterday's game, a 46, 25 loss. And the Lions, look, it's been a tough year. They're five and nine for a reason. When you just look at the team, how do you think it's constructed and, and, and perhaps what you might impart in the general manager on how to, how to build up the team? I think there's core pieces in place. Uh, I mean, you look at Stafford, everybody knows. Uh, I think you had to quote or somebody had to quote. I don't know who had to quote that, uh, you know, Matthew, why are you playing? Well, because I'm the quarterback of the Detroit Lions. And that says something about who Matthew Stafford is. Oh, yeah, he saw his teammates retweet that all. I think he said, I'm, because I'm the quarterback of the Detroit Lions and it's Sunday and I owe it to my teammates who are busting yeah. their butts and all that to be out there going through stuff too. I mean, does he fit long-term future with the Detroit Lions or is that those type of things that will be developed as you that's go not, that, Yeah, uh, that's not for me to say. I know that he's, in my, in my eyes, I don't know what the GM or coach think, but in my eyes, you know, he's a top six guy in the league top six, seven quarterbacks in the league. There's not – he and he's 32 years old. So, I, I know I, he's talented, and those guys don't fall off trees, as we know, because every year somebody's looking for another one somewhere. First of all, we'll miss you on three and out. We appreciate the work you did over the years with us. And, and is there anything you'd like to impart to the fans of what sort of your vision for for the Detroit Lions? Because when you were back here in the 90s, those were good ball clubs. Those were playoff teams. You won division championships – You've seen this franchise when it was going pretty good. So I, I think from from my end, I mean, I think the goal is to build something that everybody can be proud of. I think it's important to have a team that identifies with the city and how it plays. We all know what this city is. I lived in this area. I know what this city is. I know what the people are. I know how hardworking they are. Um, and that's going to be our team. Now, the great Marv Levy, who I was fortunate enough to play for in Buffalo, had the great quote. He said, Chris, what you're saying is very, very simple, but it's not easy. And so <laughs> the work is going to be put in to uh, give them the best. And from my perspective, uh, all, all, all you get is all I have. And that's what I promise. Well, that sounds good. Chris Spielman, thanks for being with us. And let's not forget this. On Saturday at 1 o'clock, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers against the Detroit Lions, Ford Field. Once again, kick off at 1 o'clock and have a great holiday season out there. All right. Merry Christmas, everybody. Thanks, Mike. And happy holidays.